Imagine riding horseback across a battlefield, arrows whispering past your ears as your horse screams beneath you. Now imagine doing that not just once, but across a continent. That was the life of a Mongol warrior, a member of the most terrifying, efficient army the world had ever seen. Led by the ruthless Genghis Khan, they carved out an empire the size of modern-day America, Europe and China combined. But amidst the glory and bloodshed, there's a burning question. How did they feed the beast? We dive into the secret source of the Mongol war machine, revealing how they conquered not just land, but logistics to forge the largest empire the world has ever known. Imagine the tremendous effort required to feed and sustain an army on the move, especially one that was perpetually marching into new territories. Traditional food sources, such as grains, would have been burdensome to transport over long distances. Moreover, the Mongols were not farmers. They were nomadic warriors. They needed a food source that could travel with them, one that was readily available and required minimal preparation. Here's where the plot thickens. The Mongols had a secret weapon, one that was embedded in their very DNA. They possessed a genetic mutation that allowed them to consume and digest vast quantities of horse milk and cheese. Foods that would have been intolerable, even harmful to other populations, without the same mutation. The horses that the Mongols rode into battle were not just modes of transport, they were mobile food sources. They provided nutritious sustenance in the form of milk and cheese, which could be easily carried and consumed on the go. This unique diet, high in protein and fat, sustained the Mongol warriors and gave them a significant edge over their adversaries, such as the Chinese, who relied heavily on a carbohydrate-based diet that was far less portable and practical for an army on the move. This genetic mutation, allowing the Mongols to rely on their horses, not just for transportation, but also for sustenance, was more than a mere convenience. It was a tactical advantage on an epic scale, one that helped shape the course of history. The genetic mutation they possessed was not a simple advantage. It was a game changer, a secret weapon that propelled them to unprecedented heights. So what exactly was this genetic mutation? And how did it give the Mongols an edge over their adversaries? Let's dive into this fascinating genetic quirk. The mutation in question is in the lactase gene. This gene is responsible for producing lactase, the enzyme that breaks down lactose, the sugar found in milk. Normally, humans stop producing lactase after infancy, making them lactose intolerant. However, a mutation in this gene can enable some people to continue producing lactase into adulthood allowing them to digest milk products. This is where the Mongols come in. Their diet was heavily based on horse milk and cheese, which are rich in lactose. Thanks to this genetic mutation, they were able to digest these foods even as adults. This meant that their horses served a dual purpose. They were not only a mode of transport, but also a readily available source of nutrition. Imagine the benefits. The Mongols didn't need to carry large supplies of food with them. All they needed were their horses, this gave them a distinct advantage in terms of mobility and speed, crucial factors in their swift and wide-ranging conquests. Now let's contrast this with their Chinese neighbors. The Chinese diet was predominantly carbohydrate-based, relying heavily on grains like rice and wheat. These foods had to be transported, which was not only cumbersome, but also required considerable planning and resources. The Mongols, with their mobile food source, were not shackled by such logistical challenges, Moreover, the Mongol diet, rich in protein and fats from horse milk and cheese, provided them with the energy and stamina they needed for their arduous military campaigns. This was a stark contrast to the carbohydrate-heavy diet of their adversaries, which, although energy-dense, didn't provide the same level of sustained energy. So the seemingly simple act of drinking horse milk and eating cheese, enabled by a genetic mutation, gave the Mongols a significant advantage, it allowed them to be faster, more mobile, and more resilient on the battlefield. With this mutation, the Mongols had a constant mobile food source, giving them a significant advantage in their military campaigns. This is a perfect example of how genetics and diet can play a crucial role in the course of history. But how much of a difference did this genetic mutation actually make in the grand scheme of things, you might ask? Let's delve into the nitty gritty one can't overstate the significance of this genetic advantage when it comes to the Mongols' military efficiency. Imagine the convenience of having your transport double up as your food source. 
While other armies were bogged down by large supply lines, the Mongols were riding on theirs. This meant fewer resources and less time spent on maintaining food supplies, allowing them to focus on their military campaigns. The Mongols didn't need to carry heavy grains or stop to forage for food. They simply milked their horses or made cheese, which they could consume even while on the move. This increased their mobility drastically, enabling them to cover vast distances at speeds that left their enemies flabbergasted and unprepared. Besides logistical advantages, the Mongols' diet also provided better nourishment for the soldiers. Horse milk and cheese are rich in protein and fat, essential for maintaining muscle mass and energy levels, especially during long and strenuous campaigns. In comparison, the Chinese soldiers primarily relied on a diet of carbohydrates, which required more preparation and didn't offer the same level of sustenance. The impact of this genetic advantage on the Mongols' conquests is undeniable. It allowed them to move with a speed and efficiency that was unheard of at the time, catching their enemies off guard and often leading to swift victories. Their incredible mobility, coupled with their superior nourishment, made the Mongol army a formidable force, feared across the continent. The Mongols' ability to sustain their armies in hostile and distant lands, using nothing but their horses, was a game-changer. It played a significant role in their ability to build and sustain one of the largest empires in history, in essence, this genetic advantage was a key factor in the Mongols' ability to build and sustain one of the largest empires in history. So, what remains of this genetic advantage and the empire that it helped build? The legacy of the Mongol Empire is etched indelibly into the annals of history. Its vast expanse, formidable warriors and intriguing strategies continue to captivate our imagination. However, the empire's most enduring legacy may lie within the genetic code of modern Mongol populations. You see, the ability to metabolize lactose found in horse milk, which once gave the Mongol army a distinct edge over their adversaries, is still prevalent among the nomadic populations of Mongolia. This genetic trait continues to shape their diet and lifestyle, with horse milk and cheese remaining as staple food sources. Moreover, this genetic advantage has permeated beyond the Mongol steppe, influencing global patterns of lactose tolerance. It stands as a poignant reminder of how our ancestors adapted to their environment, shaping the course of human evolution. The Mongol army's genetic advantage, a fascinating piece of our human history, continues to survive to this day, a testament to the remarkable adaptability of our species.